Jack Edwards Reserve, Michael Huguenin calling this NPL Round 8 match between Oakley Cannons and Melbourne Knights. Oakley, of course, still undefeated after seven rounds here in the NPL Victoria competition. And uh, can Marth's men halt their slump? The teams now, Melbourne Knights line up, Chris May, number one, Sam Torrens, number three, number four, Ben Suri, number five, Milan Batur. Number seven, Daniel Vizovic. Number six, James McGarry. Number 11, Anthony Colosimo. Number 13, Anton Kovacic. Number 17, Nikola Sobonovsky. Number 18, Anthony Duzel. And number 19, Cheyenne Alinajad. And there has been a late change. Sam Torrens, number three, who was set to start the match, is out with a slight hamstring strain. Coming into the starting lineup is number two, Michael Sims. Oakley, number one, John Honos in goal. Number five, Aaron Wilford. Number seven, Bonel Abradovic. Number eight, Dusan Bosniak. Number 11, Evan Christodoulou. Number 14, Nate Foster. Number 18, Lee Cornu. Adam Lee Cornu. And number 19, Goran Zoric. Number 21, Andreas Govas. Number 22, George Komidas. And number 23, Dominic D'Angelo. So another setback for Torrens, who of course had missed a few matches there with uh, some shoulder problems and has failed to take his place in the starting lineup today. Yet another injury for Melbourne Knights as we get underway here at Jack Edwards. They have been basically cursed by injuries so far, Melbourne Knights. Uh, Jacob Colosimo, Torrens as mentioned, Marian Svitkovic, Kovarubius last week went down with a knee injury and Chris Talaic is the other key player who has been injured so far this season. And they're really down to the bare bones as they take on Oakley. And with an early shot there at the back post, it was Anthony Juzel. It was blocked by Oakley as they launch a counter-attack through Chris Dulu and Nate Foster on the left. Foster just gets past his marker, but his touch eludes him and goes out for a goal kick. Chris May to take Kovacic to take the free kick for Knights. Goes long towards the penalty box. McGarry the target. It's over his head. But a chance for Alinejad, he's in behind now, and it's just a touch there from Honas. McGarry to take the corner, he'll whip it in, towards the back post, and it was Sims there, the late call up, couldn't quite get contact, ball's played back to Vizovic, Vizovic into Sims, he gives it away, a chance now for Oakley to counter attack, it's Zoric on the ball. Not enough space there for him. Now Govas, and he loses possession to McGarry. Quick feet from McGarry. Switches it right to Vizovic. Ball comes back to the left, and it's Juzel. Suri takes over, and now Anthony Colosimo. Suri with a cross. McGarry the target, flick on. Vizovic with the volley, and it's over the bar. Govas probing in front of Suri. Now Zoric. Here's Christodoulou. Bosniak. Christodoulou with the shot. It's blocked. Foster with the follow-up. And it's a shot from Bosniak. It's in. But the flag is up. Ruled out. Immediate flag from the Lions woman. And Knights breathe a sigh of relief. Chances at both ends early in this match. Free kick for Knights, just the attacking side of halfway. Vizovic into the box. McGarry can't get away of his, from his marker and Honos claims easily. Goes long, down the middle to Foster. Under pressure is Batua. He's dragged him down. Looks like it's going to be a yellow, which the home crowd are not going to be happy about. Milan Batua, yellow card early in this first half. 
Bosniak with the free kick and it's palmed away by Chris May. Nice save down low to his left. Inside, nice ball in behind Oakley now. Foster with a chance to shoot. Diving challenge from Serbanovsky and then cleared away by Kovacic. Hand in there from Oakley. Free kick for Knights. And Oakley always looking to counter-attack rapidly. D'Angelo's through ball to Foster. Christodoulou's there. Foster, it's saved by May. Another chance for Zoric. Here's Bosniak in the box. He can't quite get a shot away. He has to play it back. D'Angelo leaves it for Govas. The, the shot is blocked. And it is going to be a corner. Corner from Govas towards Wilford. He gets it down. It's thrashed away by McGarry. Christodoulou with another chance. Off the bar. It goes down. The home fans think it's in. Ref calls play on. And Knights live to... Fight another day yet again. Oakley dominating this match so far. Plenty of chances. Christodoulou hit the bar there. It went down. Abradovic into the feet of Christodoulou. Not quite sure whether that was meant, but it comes to Zoric. Zoric up against Serbanovsky. He goes around the right and takes the shot off the post. May was beaten. Zoric gets it back. Bosniak now. Down the right. Chance for a cross. Back post. It's too far. Chance for a volley. It's over the bar from Obradovic, who'd pushed up from left back. Twice onto the woodwork now, Oakley. Into the 22nd minute here, and Chris May with the goal kick up towards halfway. The ball's going to come down to Suri into midfield to Sims, who just skips away from D'Angelo and then lifts it over the top. Alinejad now with a chance. Crossing towards McGarry, and his volley's just over the bar. Vizovic to take the free kick. Almost like a corner, this free kick. And get it right in on the penalty spot. Goes towards the near post. And it's loose. Honos isn't there. Batur now. Has it gone across the line? No, it hasn't. And it looks like Oakley have survived. Unbelievable there. The ball was on the ground a number of times. John Honos, the goalkeeper for Oakley, he was nowhere near it. And eventually, it looks like we're going to have a goal kick for Oakley. Cross into the box. It's danger here for Knights. Flicked on by Lacorne, who just came off a Knights player again. And over the bar. Govas has moved away. Bosniak towards the near post. May didn't know much about it, but he makes the save. Block shot by Lakornu. Alinejad tries to get it away. Another chance for a cross from Bosniak. It's too low. Knights could get it away now. McGarry to take the corner. In towards the near post. Suri's there. D'Angelo gets in ahead of him. And now a chance for the counter-attack. Nate Foster clear on the right. Colosimo decides to leave him. Ball inside to Zoric. One-on-one -on -one with Chris May. Zoric, his... Shot is saved. Header forward. Nate Foster's here. He's clear. He takes the shot. And it's the opening goal. 40th minute here at Jack Edwards Reserve. And Nate Foster has given Oakley the lead. It was a goal kick from Chris May. Headed forward by an Oakley player. And Foster, who was left all alone by Anton Kovacic and Milan Batua, he took one touch and didn't need a second invitation, thrashing the ball home. That is his third goal of the season, Nate Foster. Oakley lead, Melbourne Knights 1-0. Not long now in the first half. In fact... There is the halftime whistle, and Oakley lead 1-0 thanks to a goal in the 40th minute by Nate Foster. Wilford with the free kick towards the left. Bosniak the target. Strong header towards Foster. Foster brings it down with the first touch, but Kovacic got ahead with the second. Now it's Juzel down the line. McGarry, can he get it in the head now? He gets it on the second attempt. 
Alinejad providing support. McGarry goes himself with the left foot shot and it's well wide. Sims long towards McGarry. Another headed challenge won by Lacornu. And then Govas goes in strongly. Now a chance to counter attack for Oakley. It's Bosniak. Bosniak. Zoric overlapping. He's in behind. Zoric has made it 2-0. Fantastic move on the counter attack by Oakley. Through the middle it was Bosniak. The ball inside the fullback found Zoric. He took a touch. He waited. And then he picked his spot. And Chris May could do nothing about it. Oakley lead 2-0 to zero for the Knights. Bradovic towards the penalty spot, it's Chris Adulu. He's dragged back, he goes down, he wanted a penalty, none given. Knights can counter. Sims loses possession. Here's Zoric on the right. Zoric up against Serbanovsky. He goes around the outside, his shot goes towards the back of post. Foster couldn't get the touch. May was beaten. It's going to be Ivan Gergic coming on and Anthony Giselle coming off. Andrew Marth pushing Milan Batur up front. Gergic will slot into central defence alongside Kovacic. Wilford comes out of defence to get a touch and then the switch again back to the left. It's straight to Alinejad, however. And the Knights can attack. Ball in behind, Milan Batur. It's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the central defender and he's put Knights back in it. Milan Batur scores. And Melbourne Knights suddenly are back in this match. It is 2-1. Fantastic ball out of midfield from Cheyenne Alinejad. And that is Melbourne Knights' first goal in four games. It's the 66th minute. And Andrew Mars' substitution has paid dividends almost immediately. McGarry gains control of it. Has to turn back to Suri. Vizovic now. McGarry's got space just at the top of the box. He might take a shot now. McGarry over the bar. Batua with the header. He's going to go again and he does. And Alinejad gets the loose ball. Sims now nods it forward to Batua and Alinejad is overlapping. Alinejad down the right. Can he find a cross? It is towards the near post. Sliding in was Abradovic. It's going to be a free kick. And... A yellow card to Bonal Abradovic. Daniel Vizovic is going to take the set piece. Near post. He went for it. In fact, he went for the shot and it was just wide. Serbinovsky. Batur back to goal. Flicks it on to Anthony Colosimo. Good work by Batur. Here's McGarry. Alinejad on the right. Chance for a cross. Abradovic blocks it. And wins the throw in. Andrew Marth off his bench. He cannot believe it. Only a couple of options to aim at. Bosniak, in fact, tries to drive it towards the penalty spot. Knocked away by Sims and then Vizovic. Lacornu steps out of defence under pressure from Batur. Back to Wilford. Knights on the full press now. Flicked on by Korkari. Here's Zoric. Can he get his second? He's dragged down from behind. And it is a penalty and a yellow card. 75th minute. Goran Zoric got him behind yet again. Bosniak converts it. Oakley lead 3-1. And you would imagine they're on track now for their third straight win. But at 3-1 and with essentially no genuine strikers, you would imagine this might be just a little bit too much for Knights. Although here's Alinejad down to McGarry. McGarry with the cross. Batur's in there. He's dragged down. They want a penalty, the Knights. Bench. It isn't given. Another chance. Alina Jed. His cross is blocked by Bosniak and it goes out for a throw in. 
McGarry gets a foot in. That's good work. Vizovic. McGarry goes past Christodoulou. Now a chance for the cross from Sims towards the back post. Anthony Colosimo plays it back to Vizovic with the shot. It's blocked. It goes to Batua. Batua with the shot. Great save, Honos. He holds it. Knights with plenty of players pushed up. They're trying to win the ball back in their attacking half. Suri nods it on to Batua. Here's Vizovic. He brings it down. Shots and it's wide. Sims to Vizovic. Back to Suri. All in vain now for Knights. As the final whistle blows, Melbourne Knights suffer their sixth straight defeat. Oakley Cannons win 3-1. Nate Foster, Goran Zoric and Dusan Bosniak, the scorers for the winning side. Milan Batur got on the score sheet for Melbourne Knights. But it's yet another defeat for Andrew Martin and his men. Michael Huguenin for Knights TV and another frustrating evening for Melbourne Knights and head coach Andrew Marth. Andrew, another injury and another loss. Yeah, most definitely uh, frustrating and, uh, you know, um, in hindsight I thought we did quite well. Um, we probably had the better of them first half and uh, a mistake cost us a goal in the 47th minute. So going down one hill was a bit disappointing and uh, the boys battled quite well second half and, uh, you know, probably in the end quality just beat us. Uh, Possibility to maybe start Milan Batur up front from, from now on. Maybe my take on it was slightly toothless first half. Was that your sort of take on it as well? Yeah, possibly. You know, it's always hard when you lose, you know, your four strikers that you signed at the beginning of the season. And uh, we're playing, playing James and we tried Daniel uh, and obviously uh, young Juzzi today. Um, they did quite well, eh? And then we're under the pump, we went down, and so we decided to put Milan up front, just to give us some strength and some height, and uh, it paid dividends uh, virtually immediately. So, um, we, yeah, we'll toy the situation uh, during the course of the week. Uh, I guess Sam, just quickly uh, on him, was obviously going to come back from the, the shoulder situation and hamstring. Is that the case? Yeah, most definitely. Just in a warm up, he just goes, "Oh, Andrew, I think I've done my hamstring." I said, how bad? He goes, it's not good. I said, go, go and see Macca. And uh, we actually got young Simsy to warm up straight away and uh, put him in that right back. And he, he did a credible job. Coming back to 2-1 to there with uh, Milan's goal, um, was there a sense that that was some of the better football that you've played in, say, the past few weeks? Yeah, most definitely. You know, everyone started working again really, really hard. And uh, we started winning 50-50 challenges. And uh, we, we copped the goal, I think, against the run of play. And... Uh, um, it was a strange decision because of the fact that the ball didn't actually go out of, on the touchline there and, the, and the, uh, the linesman kicked the ball out and gave them a throw in. So I was a bit bewildered and from that they scored a goal. So uh, that was frustrating and disappointing. And I guess uh, looking ahead, what, what do you sort of take out of tonight and what you've seen over the past few weeks uh, to sort of maybe get back in the points in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, you can look at the positives. Eh? You know, they're, they're, they're the second team. I think they're second on, on the ladder in South Melbourne were first and... You know, neither of them really bet us in, in regards to playing. So uh, where we lack is our quality and we, we know where we're struggling there. And, uh, you know, you've got to finish your chances. And we should have been probably 2-0 up after 10 minutes. And uh, we missed a couple of chances. Juicy had a great shot and blocked by a guy on the line. And uh, Cheyenne uh, should have squared the ball a bit earlier to Gaza. In the first 10 minutes, they didn't go over the halfway line. So yeah, there's a lot of positives. Um, and, you know... <laughs> It's a long season to go, you know, it's frustrating. We've lost, you know, six in a row now and uh, the time I've been in football at a pretty high level since the age of 15, I've never been involved in a team that's had this many, that's this many injuries. So uh, it's highs and lows in any any sport and uh, at the moment we're it's a, at a real low. But the boys are going to show them credit, they're giving credit because they're still working hard for us. <laughs>